what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel thank you for clicking on this this picture or this video probably a video i don't know anyways guys i thought i'd make a quick little video uh not a picture uh just to show you what i'm doing today just you know let's, let's do a little hanging out uh right now we got the warehouse pretty clear nothing dirty nothing out of place we got employees over there that are eating all the time they don't you know it's all they do is eat, munch it, munch it, wait for lunch it, lunch it. So we're going to go see what Josh is up to. What do you think? I don't care what you think. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with Josh, the infamous Josh, J-O-S-H, with his ear pod, ear buds, ear buds in his guy. pods. Put everything in the fucking way and I got to eat. I can't help it. It's my sweeper, bro, my dusty thing. That thing's a lifesaver, man. <laughs> Oh, dusty ass. <laughs> oh, dusty ass. While we're talking about old dusty ass, check this out. Ooh, baby. Who this dusty? Just a little. Mm. Yeah. HD dust, baby. Oh, yeah. So anyways, this thing right here sweeps up all the dirt, the dust, the um, the mortar on the floor. Because we, we, well, I got it looking pretty good out here right now, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Usually, instead of sweeping the entire freaking warehouse, man, look at this thing. Instead of sweeping all this by hand, uh, basically, I just kind of run the broom over there, uh, get all the big rocks and gravel out of the way, and then I will take this bad boy and just walk along. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Guys, look at this. It's our end of the year moving sale. Not really. Uh, so, basically, Boss Man wants to clear out all that area over there. Which we did, as you can see, uh, he's going to end up putting some asphalt down and maybe we won't be sinking in a mud pit every time it rains. That'd be nice. Oh, we got customers too. But yeah, look, double stacked flagstone. Have you seen that before? Probably not. Alright, so now we are in what we call the refrigerator room. Uh, because this place used to be like a Mexican restaurant or something, I don't know. But they used to make tacos and stuff here. Uh, it might have been a factory for tortillas or fajitas or any sort of treat of beaters but so yeah so we got our mortar we got our felt we got my pallet of rock which i am bringing home little by little that's a good thing about working at a rock yard uh we tend to go through a lot of freaking rock man and these are the leftovers of the leftovers bottom of the barrel nobody wants it but i want it i will take that uh check this out we got fire brick that's pretty cool so if you have a fire pit you can put some brick around the pit and light it on fire it won't die we got more mortar we got uh we got cinder blocks yeah we got cinder blocks customer just walked by probably thinks i am absolutely crazy uh and then we got these which are also cinder blocks no importance ah oh, this is the mud pit i was telling you about ah. it's a beautiful day can you guys see the sun I can. It's all in my face. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't never seen a face like that, have you? <laughs> Alright, so now we got our Allen blocks. Um, they are called Allen blocks because they look like an A. Right? And it's a block. I completely made that up. Have you ever seen a slab of, of rock? So flat. So gray. So thick. These are called flagstone slabs, and uh, that's pretty much what they are. They are a slab of concrete, uh, not concrete, slab of rock. Dude, have you ever seen a bent rock? Well, now you have. All right, man, now we are going to our rebar. This stuff right here is metal sticks with little, little swipes, little stripes on them, um, and then that is for aerodynamics when it's going into the ground. When you pile it really hard into the ground, the supersonic tread on the side allows you to go Mach 5 and then um, and then yeah so you go straight into the ground going about Mach 5 uh, and then we got these guys right here angle iron uh, these bad boys right here are like giant toothpicks made of metal um, they look nothing like toothpicks but they are made of steel not metal don't judge me making our way downtown walking past faces blasting I'm I'm homebound Do -do 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 -do. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you this freaking awesome setup. Uh, so I came into work one day and I said, 
I'm going to make a station where I can grind all of this metal and all those hypersonic Mach 5 speed um, metal post thingies I was just showing you. Uh, this is where we cut it. Ho! 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 We got so much, baby. So much room. It goes from there to there. And then you turn this thing on and it goes... That's how that works. Alright guys, I hope you had a great time hanging out with me today. I know I made absolutely no sense and I'm probably going to lose some subscribers over this one. But that's fine. I figured a cool wacky little video, you know, just to throw it out there and make people smile. Even if you didn't smile, at least you watched it. Click the like button for me. Subscribe because I'm trying to get to 290 subs. Um, if you guys can do that for me, I'll make more videos. I'm going to make more videos regardless. What do you think, Josh? Huh? Uh, eh, exactly. Over and out.